Hello and welcome to Supermarket Simulator. This is a different type of game than we normally feature on this channel, but I figured I'd change it up every now and then. It sounded kind of inter interesting to me. But it's basically about operating a small supermarket, uh, buying products and selling those products, and then using the money from those sales to buy more inventory, unlock different types of inventory, and buy more shelves, refrigerators, expand your store, eventually hire a cashier. So it is quite fun. I don't know if the there's quite a bit of a grind to the game. You're doing a lot of the same stuff repetitively. But I don't know if that's typical of the simulator genre. I don't typically play this kind of game. But it is quite fun. So let's jump in and take a look at it. Alright, so this is our store. We have $50 to our name, as you can see in the top right corner of the screen. We've rented this small space here. Not much to it. Two shelves and a cash register. And we have a computer over there. There's a storage room over here that is locked, and our store is currently closed. So the first thing we need to do is buy some products to stock our shelves with. We can do that on the market on the computer here. We have only six products to begin with. If we take a quick look, you can see there is quite a bit of these licenses unlock new products. There is quite a bit of each license unlocks six new products, I believe. Some, some have even seven, it looks like. So there's quite a bit of products. It'll be a challenge to keep track of all those as we go along. We will get monthly bills, or actually daily bills, I should say. Growth is basically our uh, expanding our store, so we can quite a bit of sections to expand the store too, so it could get quite large. Hiring, we can have up to four cashiers, so these have requirements, complete checkouts, zero of 200, so we ourselves have to check out 200 people. And then we can unlock this one, and then this one's 400, and so on. Storage is locked right now, and customization is coming soon. So anyways, let's go back to market. We only have 50 bucks, so let's buy some bread. Flour. Pasta. And sugar. Total $39. Now there is a delivery charge. One to three items is $2. Four to six items is $4. And I think the rest of the up to 10 is uh, $6, I believe. So this will get us $43. Leave us with a measly $6 in our name. Let's go ahead and purchase those. Everything is instantly delivered. So it gets delivered outside to the curb here. Nice stack of boxes. Let's click on one to grab it. And we can th aim at a shelf here. And put it on the shelf. Just clicking and holding it drops the items on the shelf. So once we put an item on a shelf, if it's a new item, it needs to be assigned a price. We click on the price tag here. You can see the market price down here is looks like 483 if I'm reading it correctly. Uh, so we're going to go with $5. I'm going to keep all my prices either even dollar amounts or 50 cents, so 5 five fifty, or 6 um, That will make giving change a lot easier, you'll see as that goes along. So that's sugar. You have to take the empty boxes and you have to throw them out. And grab the next box. And go ahead and put that on the shelf. So let's get all these on the shelf, get them priced. The prices do go up and down. The market price goes up and down. If it's too expensive, people won't buy it. If it's too cheap, people will buy a lot of it and you won't make as much money. And it'll, be, it'll, hard to be, it'll be hard to keep it in stock. Right now we don't have any customers because the store is closed. So that's all our four products on the shelves. And now we just got to price each one of them. So 312, so we're going to make this 350. 371, we're going to make this 4. And 396, we're going to make this 4 as well. Next thing we got to do is open the store. We've got all our products stocked. We've spent all our money. We have $6 left. So if we click on the sign, we are now open. The store will, you can see the upper right corner, it's 8 a.m. The store will remain open till 9 after 9 p.m. No more customers will come in. 
Click on the register here. He's buying one flower. He's got some cash for us. He gave us five dollars. Our t his total was four, so we need to can see change is one dollar. So click on the one dollar bill, hit space bar, and it he takes his change and leaves. So that's basically it for now. We just got our wait for our second customer here. He's probably going to pay with a credit card. Buys flower too. Click on the credit card. Click on the machine here and type in how much we want to charge him. Four dollars is what we're charging him. So that's good. So our next objectives on the top left of the screen is perform 25 checkouts. So we will work on doing that. Quick side note, I have Parkinson's disease and I typically avoid playing games like this that have the camera viewpoint locked to the cursor for many reasons, but mainly because I have tremors, which is handshakes. So sometimes the screen will be jittery a lot and it makes me sometimes sick to my stomach and dizzy. And so I typically avoid recording games like this. So leave me comments in down below if it triggers similar symptoms to you and I'll just switch to playing uh, a different game where the camera viewpoint is not locked to the cursor. So it'll minimize that effect for you. I'll try to edit most of it out, but in this game it's gonna be extremely hard to do that. So just a side note, let me know what you're thinking. We're gonna continue here. It is 5.30, the sun's starting to go down. And that means we need to turn on our lights because otherwise it gets quite dark in here. We are charged for electricity, so you can't just leave them on all day. And as we buy refrigerators and stuff, the electricity bill will go up. So we're at 16 of 25 checkouts right now. We're still trying to work through it. She gave me exact change. Looks like I need to buy some more products already. But so that's 18 and 25 checkouts. We probably won't get to 25 checkouts today. But uh, I'll come back at the end of the day and we'll see where we're at. All right, so I believe this will be my last customer of the day, which is good because she bought the last item on the shelf, which was our last loaf of bread. They bought everything we bought this today. I did have a chance to place an order halfway through the day, but I did not get a chance to stock it. So all our items are sitting out here. We're actually going to leave them till morning, I think. Uh, but basically, we can hit enter to finish the day. We have 22 satisfied customers, two products not found, which is because we probably ran out of items and didn't have time to stock them. So we made a profit of $26 today. But that's mainly because I bought uh, so much stuff. So we balance $76 on our account. We can hit start next day. It says we basically receive bills every day. The store is closed so customers won't come and the time won't start progressing until we've s clicked the open sign. So at this point we would basically order supplies that we would need for the day, uh, which I need everything. So I have one of everything out here. So basically just gotta go through and stock the products again. And get the store open. Alright, so I got the store stocked. I bought two of everything, with the exception of cereal, because I ran out of money. We do have two new products that we weren't selling yesterday, cereal. So we gotta remember to set the price on that, otherwise they will buy it at mark at average cost, which is not good for us. So we'll do six dollars for that one. And let's do 450 for this one. So that is all our prices set. Prices will start going, market price will go up and down a little bit, so we will have to adjust prices as we play along. But we should have enough product to get the store going for now, so we're still working on it. Tutorial wants me to open and turn the lights on and off, so I must have done that before it came up on the screen. So let's open up the store, complete the last objective for the checkout and see what our ne next objective is. 25th customer here. Buy a bottle of oil for 450. And that completes that objective. Now the next one is pur purchase a product license using the computer. So we take a quick look at that. Close this tab here. Take management licenses. Required store level 3. We are at level 2 right now, so we'll get to level 3 pretty quickly by selling stuff. 
So this is six, so I guess this will be our next one, but it looks like it requires, it has cheese, eggs, uh, milk. So it looks like some of these products would need a refrigerator. So we'll actually have to make sure we have enough money to buy the $200 license. Plus we'll have to be able to buy the furniture, which is in the market tab. Here we can buy lights, freezers, small racks for the storage once we unlock it. Extra checkouts when we hire people. Fridge A and B. So I'm actually going to save it for fridge B here, 375. So I need 375 plus 575. So a total of $575 to unlock the fridge and the next license. So we will save up some money to do that. Got a little bit of line at the checkout here. Trying to get these people checked out. Paying cash. Exact change, thank you. Card, eight dollars. Cash, she wants ten dollars change. One thing of flour for you, four dollars. And some cereal and sugar. Seventeen dollars, that's a good sale for us. All right, it's end of the day here. I restocked once during the day, just a couple items. End of day two, we had 22 customers, one product not found. Balance of $200 in our account, so we still need quite a bit of money to get up to our next license and stuff, so it's basically time to fill the shelves. We need one flower. Looks like we could probably fit another oil in there. Maybe not. I'm actually going to wait to stock. I'm going to just open up the store here now and restock halfway through the day. I know I'm going to forget about these, but if we check the computer real quick, check on management, there should be some bills to pay. Yep, we have one bill for $3.90 and rent for $20, so that's not going to be very helpful towards our cause, but necessary part of doing business. Check her out. Two boxes of cereal on the card for twelve dollars. So continue to sell some stuff, and make some money. All right, end of the day here. Our last customer, I'm assuming. Nineteen dollar order, not too bad. So our shelves stayed pretty much stocked. I had to stock once throughout the day. But we have four hundred forty-five dollars. Not too bad. Total income of $390 today. Rent bills and supplies that I bought. So let's start the next day. Let's do place an order for some products we need. We could fit in our oil. Oil, two flours, and a bread. So oil. Oil, two flours, and a bread. Yeah, that's really about it. We could probably I get dinged for that extra delivery charge for four items, but it is what it is. Purchase it. Let's get this stuff stocked. Why'd they put the little box on the bottom? Flour goes here. I haven't been paying attention to the prices, so I should probably check that out. We'll do that after we finish stocking. Bread. If you put it on the wrong shelf, you can hold the right mouse button down and it takes it off. But it has to be in the same box, size box that it came in. Flour. And that's when we're going to have extra flour. We can put it on the shelf or we can just put it down here on the ground. Hit G. Put it there and it puts the box on the ground. We can stock grab it later when we need to stock the shelf. Another thing, if you're not sure the box is closed, if you or empty, if you hit C, there's no label on the top, so that means that it's empty. So we're good there. We're almost at our goal of six hundred dollars. Actually, I guess it's seven hundred dollars to be able to buy the fridge and the next license. So let's just keep at it. Let's place an order for some pasta, maybe another thing of oil. That's three items there. Let's purchase those real quick. Run out and grab the pasta. 
That way people that want it can buy it. I keep forgetting to check prices as well, but I guess I'll do that the next day. See if I can do this before the line gets too long at the register. It's hard being a one-man show. Alright, so that's that. Got a little bit of a line going here. $3 change. Pay on the card for $14. Dollar change. Gotta turn the lights on here. Fifty. I like those big orders. And that completes the day. I don't know if we have another customer come in or not. I don't think I kept the shelves stocked most of the day. I think we did run out of pasta at one point. But we have $682. One more day and we should have enough money to buy product as well as the license and the refrigerator. Stuff Product's not found too, but oh well. Start the next day. I'm gonna fill up the shelves here and go through this day, then we'll, tomorrow we'll buy the equipment and rearrange the store a little bit. Let's remember to check the prices before we open the store today. So this is market price is 507, we're selling it for 450, so go up to five, it's still below market price. So it'll probably sell pretty good. Cereal is right on fine. Flour is a little bit below market price. Let's up it to 450. So we'll check the rest of the prices here and then get the store open. Market price four dollars. Uh, we're gonna that's up just to 450 as well. All right, so that's good. So let's get the store open and make another day. We have $1,000 in our bank, so good deal there. Let's go ahead and end the day. End of day five, 25 total customers. And looks like $1,000 in the bank, so start the next day. You can see crafting flour has gone down in price. Going to 450, 350, so we're gonna have to make this four dollars. I didn't know, I don't remember what else went up, so we can go back through and check the prices. This is 650. So we'll go through and check the prices. But let's order, I guess let's stock our shelves first to make sure we have enough, then we'll order the new products. So we need two breads, two pastas, an oil, and a flour. Let's pay our bills to So what did I say? We need two breads, two pastas, a flour. We'll throw a sugar in there just because. Oil looks like we could fit one oil and cereal we're good on. So what does that give us? Seven items for $89 so we can order the double door fridge as well. That is eight, four. that's a total of 400, looks like $507. So let's go ahead and purchase that. Let's, ooh, I saw the stack fall over out there. Got our refrigerator in the middle of the road here. I guess let's put the fridge right at the front of the store for now. So there's our fridge. Now we can probably go over here and buy the product license. Close this one out. Management, licenses, and purchase required level th 
three level. So we've purchased a new license that gives us a whole bunch of new products. Doubles our products to 12 now, so it's going to become quite complicated once we unlock all those recipes to manage the, the inventory. Just order one of each, I guess. We have the money to do so, so let's do it. I don't know if it'll let me purchase these and be quite a pile of stuff out there. Big mess. So we'll get this stuff stocked and we'll have to remember to set our prices on our new items so we don't get sell them for what we bought them for. stocked up now we have some new products coffee over here wow market price of 1050 that's nice some tea sell that for six bucks bread flour sugar cereal oil and all the new fridge products so we got cheese up top here mark that for 350 bottle of water market price of 266 we're gonna sell that for three dollars Eggs, $4. And finally milk on the bottom, which is two fifty. So that's nice. Nicely stocked up. Should hold us for half, at least half the day. We're down to $27. Our next goal is purchase a fridge or shelf, which I already did before the thing came up. But we are going to probably purchase another shelf to start stocking up on some of these other items. So what's in here? bread bread's full so let's open for the day get it going all right so we're at the end of the day here nine o'clock having two shelves of everything seemed to work out pretty well i did not have to restock at all during the day with the additional products there was enough stuff there that got us through there was only one flower left so we might have to add a third shelf of flour the fridge held up pretty well and we made $594 off in our bank at the end of the day. So overall, pretty good. 25 customers again. $600 balance. We made $567 today. So we'll basically spend our money, restock the shelves, and then let's take a look at our next license. Store level six, we are store level seven, so we're good there. So peanut butter, flour, olive oil, pasta, spaghetti. I can't I can't see, it looks like rice and salt. So this will be the next one we buy, so we're gonna have to save up $400. Plus we're probably gonna need two more shelves for that, so $400 plus. Let's see, shelf. So another two shelves will be $400, so $800 for that. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to spend a couple days, earn some cash, and then do a store reorg. So I'll stock up for the day and run through a couple days and save up some money and meet back up with you. But that's actually going to be next episode. So hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.